All right, we got two new items from Charlie's Philly Steaks. We got this new Kentucky bourbon cheese steak and this new tangerine real fruit lemonade. Are they worth getting or should you be skipping? Let's answer it, here we go. What's going on, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. Yeah, people, it's cold and nasty outside, okay? Let me get that out the way. A little snow, a little frost, freeze front came out of nowhere. Whew, chilly. Okay, anyways, guys, had, had to get that, get that out the way. Uh, we checking out something new, guys. Something new dropped, saw the announcement. And I ran out and tried it out. Number one, because I like Charlie's Philly Steaks. That's what we checking out. And uh, number two, I know you guys probably want to know, like, should I get this? Should I not? Should I skip it? Little pricey thing. So we're going to check it out. Two items. We got the new sandwich, which is the Kentucky bourbon cheesesteak. Kentucky bourbon. You might have a little bourbon in that sandwich. Probably not, but uh, anyways. Then we got this tan tangerine lemonade. I'm gonna show you guys as well and uh, give you a little close up view what it looks like, okay? But uh, yeah, officially off to the races in 2023, Kentucky bourbon cheesesteak. So check it out, y'all. This thing came to $7.30. I got the small. You guys know my dilemma on the sandwiches. You get the small, and I'll let you know, if I wish I got the medium, that means it's worth getting. If I don't, and I'm happy with this, then that means skip it, okay? Check it out, guys. Hey, look at the marketing picture, though. This don't look like the marketing picture. See, this, this, is, this is the thing with the fast food reviews, guys. They be gaming, okay? Uh, this, what's supposed to be on here is it features grilled and seasoned USDA choice steak, with bourbon glaze for notes of smoky molasses, sauteed onions, melted shredded cheese, and French onion crisps with optional fresh lettuce and tomato. I told him make it, make it how it's supposed to be. I do see some melted cheese down here. A little onion straws, barely. Show you guys this in, that, that's where some of that jazz is, whatever that's supposed to mean. This looks nothing like the marketing. Ponzi scheme. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's hit this up. Then we're gonna get into the drink, which by the way, is a tangerine lemonade drink. But uh, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're going for this bite right here. I like Charlie's bread. Mm. Little bourbon glaze shocked me right there. Hmm. Gave me the vibe of being at a gala event. Open the doors. Everybody dressed up looking good. Hmm. Don't know why I'm excited, but I'm excited. Yeah, this is pretty good, y'all. This is pretty good. Wish I were right here. You could see a little bit better. But it looks pretty decent. Or tastes pretty decent. Okay. I like their roll. Their little baguette roll is pretty good. It's not Jersey Mike's. It's not as, as key as Jimmy John's different. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, blowing the socks off a subway. But let's get to the, 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 the real meat and potatoes here, which is that smoky molasses bourbon. That's a nice bourbon glaze. Goes well with the steak. They got the onions, the grilled onions, but also the uh, little, what are those little onion strings, French onion crisps, crisps. Those are pretty good too. Nice little compliment to the steak. They both two-stepping, okay? A nice little pair at the at the gala. I'm deep in the analogy at this point. Uh, second bite. Mm. 
stuff falling everywhere. Here y'all go. Check this out. There y'all go. Melted cheese. A little bit of onion crisp. I could use a little bit more. As for the glaze, side cup of it, okay? I got a score. I think this can be a light eight if you ask for more onions, if you like onions, and more French onion crisps, if you like onions. And definitely ask for a side of that bourbon sauce. It's good. My first bite was better. And then after I kept going, it was almost like it really wasn't there or, or lightly there. So get a side cup of that, okay? To make sure you have extra. Y'all know we like to baptize that steak and that sauce and stuff. Overall, I'm going to give it a strong, good, solid, light. It's a 7.5, okay? Maybe 7. 7.5. Could be an 8. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that score. Okay, next, let's try this tangerine. Uh, and to that point, I'm, I'm happy I got the small and not the regular, okay? That's the answer. Let's try this tangerine real fruit lemonade, okay? So they say this new lemonade flavor pairs sweet tangerine pieces with lemon juice and cane sugar for a sweet and extra citrusy lemonade. I know y'all wonder what this look like, so I'm gonna give y'all a close-up, okay? There, uh, okay, if I can get my angles right, there we go. That's what that thing is looking like. Now, it looks like a regular lemonade. I know what you're saying. I totally agree with you. But when I was getting this, I saw the guy, they got the normal lemonade fountain, and he lifted up this little canister, kind of little scoop things, and there was this little tangerine powder, took a little scoop, boom, make one more scoop, boom, then add the lemonade. That's how they make this tangerine real lemonade, in case you wanted to know. Okay, a little couple scoops, mixing it up, kind of like a little Kool-Aid joint, all right? Here we go, y'all. <laughs> tangerine real fruit lemonade drink. That boy is sweet, but where are the tangerines at? No tangerine action, okay? Tangerine is on the milk carton. We got a, we got a, uh, a call out to try to find the tangerine. Mix it, maybe, okay, it's getting a little, a little darker now. Maybe it's at the bottom. So let's keep the straw and go all the way to the bottom. Little tangerine. Oh shoot, I splashed myself in the eyeball. Golly. Okay. Tangerine to me is about 20% there, 80% lemonade. I was looking for a more 50-50, maybe not necessarily, but at least a 40% tangerine, 60% lemonade. I'm not getting that. Maybe it's 30% there, I don't know. This thing, uh, you wouldn't have told me, I don't know, kind of like a little sour lemonade. It's not there, it's not there. Based on what they trying to do y'all, tangerine lemonade. I'm not convinced, okay, I'm not convinced. I'm gonna give this one, it's a mid, it's a mid five. Okay, it's a mid five, it's good and everything. It's sweet, it's a good, it's a good drink. I'm just not getting tangerine vibes. Tangerines is all still on the tree. I believe they're growing on a tree, not on the ground. Got to be. They still all on the tree. We looking for them, okay? Let me know what y'all think though. Little quick review, timely review of Charlie's Philly, Philly, Philly steaks, Philly cheese steaks. Very rare I get out here. Guys, officially, that's the review. As always, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys wanna see on the channel next. 
Whether you're a regular or first timer, please subscribe, hit that notification bell reminder. Catch you guys next time eating something else. Peace.